Yeah. Oh, that's big. No, 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 no. Oh, man, I can't even touch the bottom. Oh, sorry, bike. <laughs> man, if you fell in here, you'd just be, you'd be dead. What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. It is bloody beautiful to have you here. Okay, so right now we are back on the same island that we were on in last episode. I've come back. This island is way too big, way too beautiful not to explore more. Except Mother Nature, she has different plans. It is blowing its absolute head off right now. It's been raining. There's massive swells and massive tides. So this is my first glimpse of the ocean right now. And uh, she's definitely putting on a show for us today, ladies and gentlemen. This is psycho. So I don't know if you guys can hear me because it is absolutely blowing a gale right now. But look at this ocean. No way. I've literally walked about three and a half hours this morning to get to this point. And it's, um, wow. So the mission for today, the original mission was to come down to this cliff here, fish somewhere here behind me, um, do a little bit of a catch and cook video, you know, catch a fish, start a fire, cook it up. Except the, uh, the elements are completely against us right now. There is no way in the world I'm fishing down there solo. That's just super dangerous. So uh, everything that I had planned has gone out of the window. So <laughs> it's just going to get exciting from now on in. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. I've just literally walked about three hours to get to this point on the island. And uh, it's completely unfishable. This is psycho. Like, look at this current out here. Dude. That's scary, man. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, look at this water. It's like a washing machine. Bro, this is psycho. <laughs> it is so windy right now. Oh my God, there's no way in the world we're fishing this spot. Man, if you fell in here, you'd just be, you'd be dead. Like you'd be just, you'd just get ripped straight down there. That current is insane. All right, so we're completely, absolutely winging it now because like I said, the plan was to come here, do a catch and cook. I've just walked all the way here and it's unfishable. This is super dangerous by myself. So, uh, what are we going to do? I'm not too sure what we're going to do right now. Obviously this side of the island that I'm on is just getting smashed by wind. So where we caught that big barracuda last time, I'm going to guess, I'm guessing is going to be like the wind will be behind us, except we're fighting a massive swell today. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do, man. I suppose I'll just keep walking. We'll just walk as far as we can, as long as we can, until we um, find some either somewhere to fish, or I'll walk back to where I parked the bike this morning, and we'll go from there. But uh, we're definitely fighting the elements today, doggies. Sick, but oh, long walk. There's a mad looking little beach down here and it's kind of in like a little bay or a cove. See that sort of shape there? So maybe that's going to be out of the wind. I don't think it's fishable. Like those waves down there are psycho, but let's try to get down to that beach and we'll, uh, I don't know. No idea. Let's just try to get down there. Oh, this is killer. Look at this little beach. It's like our own private little beach. No one around. So slippery. <laughs> Oosh. All right, we made it. It is definitely going to be unfishable, but man, 
This is sick, this little beach. Look at this joint. Absolutely nobody here. It's blowing its absolute tits off. Yeah, this is killer. I could easily camp here one day. <laughs> that tide's pushing in so fast. Oh man. I'm just like walking around looking for like octopus or something in these little holes, but there's not a lot. There's a little eel there. So this spot's like pretty much unfishable as well, but it's a pretty sick little beach. We'll remember this place on a nice day. Maybe we can do like a camping mission here. Right now. <coughs> it's not what I'm looking for. I'm trying to do a catch and cook video. <laughs> it's not it's not working out right now. But it's all good because this place is sick, man. All right, let's do a little bit of a treasure hunt. I want to go through this rubbish, see if we can use one piece of equipment that we're going to use throughout today, either like an old fishing lure, a sharp stick. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but let's see if we can go through this, this tide line all the way along here and see if we can find a bit of rubbish that'll be useful today. Check this out. This is like a whole entire tide line just full of plastic bottles, man. It's like so bad. There are plastic bottles from that side all the way down, all the way up to that cliff there. It is just completely covered in plastic bottles. It is so sad to see all of this plastic and shit on such an epic little beach. Man, it's actually like heartbreaking to see how much rubbish is on this like this is a tiny little beach that i'm on right now and there is so much rubbish plastic bottles and shit and the worst thing is that i've even got a plastic bottle in my bag right now so i'm gonna make a pack to myself right now as soon as i return to bali i'm gonna go buy a reusable drink bottle like an aluminium flask or some kind of reusable bottle and from this day in i'm gonna use that bottle forever i'm not gonna use plastic anymore because this Man, if we all do our part, I'm sure we can do something, but this is just disgusting, dude. Anyway, we found no treasure in this tide line of rubbish, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I suppose we'll just trek back out of here and just explore, man. That's all we can do today is explore and we'll try to find somewhere to fish. Maybe I'll walk back to my bike and we'll have to go to the other side of the island. Who knows, but it's going to be a bloody good adventure. All right, doggies, I'll see you on the other side. Ow. There she is. Look at her. <laughs> There's me bike. Oh, that was one hell of a walk. But we've made it back to where we left the bike. Literally in the middle of nowhere right now. But here she is. This is the new bike that we've got. Yes, my keys are still in it. <laughs> this is our new bike. It's actually their little weapon, so it's smaller than we had smaller than the one we had in the last episode but this thing's got some power dude it's actually a little beast so let's get back on her head around to the other side of the island and hopefully we can get away from this wind and swell and we can get some fish here we go again ah uh... This track is even worse than the ones from last time. It's gonna give it shit. Oh, how did we do that so easily? Oh, sorry, bike. Come on, let's go. This little bike is a beast. Absolute power. 
absolute mission of a morning we're back in the motherland if you guys watched the last episode you will know that just down there we got big mama barracuda so the swell is so much bigger today it's a whole lot more windy this cliff is gnarly look at this I wonder if I could somehow fish off here that's gnarly dude but because the swell is so big, there's like this mad blowhole down here. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoosh! Man, that's so gnarly. Imagine if you were fishing here. Hell no! Fuck! Dude, that like put a sh... There was like a shock went through my body then, the whole entire like... Boy, I'm gonna have a shower here. Ah, so gnarly, I'm definitely not fishing here. Welcome back to the fish shack. All right, so the wind is a lot better here. Oh man, I'm tired from walking. Ah. So the wind's a lot better here, but the tide's really high. That swell's pushing in, so no idea how we're gonna go, but I'm gonna start flicking. I'm gonna use the same rod and reel as last time, that light gear, and we'll just see how it goes. I think it's gonna be very interesting. I think it's got a lot of, um, there's a lot of energy in the water right now, so see how we go okay, so I'm gonna give myself about two hours here it's now 12 o'clock so it's actually 12 22 so I will fish here for two hours I'll give myself two hours if there's no fish we'll keep moving because there's a lot of places I want to explore but obviously I know that there's fish here well there was last time so we're casting like this little lures is just this is a storm slow run these are sick little lures 30 gram 31 grams pretty heavy so um We'll just start pinging lures and hopefully we get a big hook up. It's so dope to cook something on the little cooker or start a fire. Ah, let's do this. Come on, that's got to be the cast. There's like small bait fish out here and every now and then they go like they're scattering across the ocean. So something's chasing them. Just got to try to get its attention or I don't know what it is. Maybe they're small tuna chasing small bait fish. I'm not sure. Come on. Oh, no, man. What was that? I just lost my lure. No way! I just got bitten off! Are you joking? I just got bitten off, man. There is something out there with a big set of teeth. No! You've got to be kidding me. Look at that! See you later, brand spanking new lure. That is a clean bite. Far out. I've got one more of them lures left. Look at that, dude. All right, there's definitely fish out here. That's insane, dude. Literally just got bitten off. That's 158. So I've been fishing for what, 20 minutes or something? I don't even know when I started, to be honest. <laughs> but that's 
lure gone. I didn't even, it didn't even like strike or anything. I must have just come in on the side and bitten that lure off. But I've got one more in that color or I've got one more in the pink. I'll tr probably try the pink again. I don't know, it looks sick in the water, this lure. It obviously works because I just lost a fish. Ah! Let's go again. That was very interesting. Whatever that was had some seriously big teeth and it was hungry. Ah! Oh, look at the size of that turtle, boy. I don't want to be hooking that thing. See this tree here? It's actually really interesting. When I first moved to Indonesia, I'd always wonder why the hell is this tree always on the rocks? Like no matter where you fish, you'll see this tree on the rocks. And I always wondered why. <laughs> Man, it's so windy out there. So this tree here, it's called a pandanus palm. And what the local people do, they actually use it for fishing. So that is a leaf off the pandanus palm. And what you do is you just rip them in half and then you start ripping little shreds off and you get these like fibers like this. You rip these fibers off and that there is actually like a string. It's like an extremely strong string. You get your nail and you rip off all the little fibers and you're left with like a piece of cotton looking string. Like this is super strong. So because they don't have like fridges or eskies out here to keep their bait in, they use like small fish like this. They'll put the hook on the fish and then they'll use this pandanus palm fiber and they'll like wrap the, this around the hook and around the fish up and down all the way, kind of like binding it on. So if you're ever fishing in Indonesia and see one of these trees on the rocks, you now know why it's here and maybe it'll help you one day because these little fibers, they come in handy. Like I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure that one day I'll use it. So there's a handy little hint, pandanus palm. All right, let's keep fishing. I just thought I'd show you guys because it does come in handy knowing these little tricks when you're traveling and stuff. Look at this turtle, dude. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it just went deep then. There's so many turtles out here right now. Beautiful. All right, let's get out of here. So I fished there for about two hours. We had that one, whatever that thing was, had teeth, it was big, obviously. Just completely bit that lure off. And um, that's it. It's so windy, man. It's like crazy windy. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me on the GoPro, but it is blowing a gale. So I'm going to head off to another spot, but I'm pretty sure where the spot we're going now is this is going to get hounded with wind and swell, but I just want to see it. So you guys may as well come with me and we'll do a little bit of bloody exploring, mate. So there's quite a few people asking about when am I, when are we going to drop the Yeah Doggies merch, like the hats and the t-shirts. So it's coming. It's, it's looking really, really good. It's taking a little bit of time because of the Corona, but um, it's coming. This is one of the shirts I'm wearing now. And this thing is, I mean, so happy with it. It's nice to wear a white shirt in the sun instead of black. So I'm not sweating my ring out. And it's really, really close. Like I've got a hoodie made as a sample and that's absolutely killer. So. It's all coming, the hats look epic. And um, yeah, it's really close. Once I get it all up online, I'm gonna do a big giveaway to you guys. I'm just gonna give a shitload of shirts away just to say thank you for all the support. Hitting 100,000 subscribers last week and yeah, they're coming doggies. All right, so this is the next spot. This spot is absolutely amazing, dude. Look at this beach. This is where I want to go. I want to get down here. So epic, man. But I don't know if you guys can see, but see this little black dot right there? Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but that there is a school of fish, man. I have no idea what sort of fish they are, but that is a school of fish. And so is, there's a black dot here somewhere. That's a school of fish. So there's two schools of fish down there. All we got to do is get down there. Epic, dude. Look at it really big swell down there also so i've got to walk some somewhere down there follow that ridge along and then come down there all right let's get into it because there's two schools of fish there i don't even know what they are they might be a mullet they might not eat lures but let's just try this is going to be sick i hope they eat lures i, th I think they're going to be mullet but they might not be who knows definitely one big school there 
and there's a big school there. Oh, check this shit out, man. This is what I live for. All right, so we started up there. We're halfway, now I've got to take this super sketchy track to the bottom. But that is a massive school of fish. Not that dot there, but that dot there is a school of fish. There's another one here. But I'm just worried that they're not going to be fish that eat lures because usually fish that sit like this won't feed on lures. But there is a ton of fish there. So, <laughs> dude, let's get down there. I have no idea what sort of fish they are. Oh, man, this track is sketchy, boy. <sighs> man, I feel like a goat right now. Tell you what, you wouldn't want a bloody slip right now. That would not be fun. It is literally like vertical. I'm like seriously climbing down a vertical ledge right now with a 50 kilo backpack, two fishing rods, and another bag full of cooking equipment. Man, these fish better eat lures. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the saying, sweating bullets? Times that by like 500 and that's me right now. Holy shit, I'm sweating bullets, man. I'm about halfway down and uh, still a long way to go. It's pretty sick, but it's like vertical down there. And that's just like, I just climbed from up there, it's vertical. Pretty much just climbing down this face of the rock, but some legends made stairs. All right, my doggies, do me a favor. Smash that like button right now. Just so all of this sweat is worth it. No, it's definitely worth it. But smash that like button as well, please. Hopefully, hopefully we can hook up to one of these fish, man, because they are everywhere. All right, this is where shit's about to get gnarly. Dude, have you ever seen your legs sweat before? <laughs> Look at this, man. I'm pissing sweat. Anyway, this part here is heavy. Oh man, I can't even touch the bottom. So worth it, but how good is this? I'm nearly at the bottom, probably another 10 minutes to go, and then you get a sign like this choose life. Hell yeah, brother, that's what it's all about. This and this, hell yeah. Oh, never sweated so much in my life. Shut up, stop whinging. Get down there. I can see the fish, bro. Look at them. Oh my God. Stay there. Please stay there. Oh my God. As if that walk wasn't sketchy enough. This ladder is so... So wobbly, man. Oh my God. That was a mission and it was worth every single step, dude. Look where I am right now. What? I have this whole entire place to myself. There's no one here. And there's two massive schools of fish out there. Holy shit, man. Life is good right now. Look how beautiful it is. Okay. There's actually pretty big shoreys, eh? Like, <laughs> these are heavy waves. Look at this wedge. Oh my God. This would be so fun to body surf out here. 
actually going to be really, really hard to fish, man. That's like a four foot wedge and it's super heavy. Look. Ooh. I kind of thought that it was going to be hard to fish because there's a lot of swell, but that's really big swell. <laughs> this is going to be so interesting. All right, let's set up the fishing rod. Ah, fizz levels are 110%. All right, the time has come to see if these fish eat lures. Oh my God. So I'm going to be throwing. Ah! Booted that bit of wood. So I'm just going to be throwing this GT Jack 40 gram. It's probably the only lure that I've got, which I can cast far, far, far with. So let's hope we don't lose it. And uh, yeah, I've got to try to find the schools of fish now because it's really hard at this low level. All right, where are you? Oh, there's the fish right there. I just got to wait for a lull in the swell. They're literally at the back of the breaker. Go. Go, go, are we going? Are we going? We're going. Gosh! This is psycho! Fish! Go as far as you can! Ah! I think they're mullet. I'm not gonna be able to hook mullet like this. Fuck. Man, that is that is literally right in the center of the school of those fish. Right in the middle of them all. And they're not eating it, they must be mullet. They've got to be mullet. Ah I'm casting like dead center man. Yeah. Oh, that's big. No, 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 no. That's big, 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 big. No. Oh my fucking God. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh. Stay there, stay there. Oh. Come on. That's big. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. What are you? Shaking its head. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. We did it. Oh no. What's going on? Are you fucking joking? It's gone. No, man. What happened? Oh my God, it's gone. We lost it. No way. I got my leader back. Gone. Why? Why, why, why? That's the second fish we've lost today. Fuck. So I'm about 99% sure that the fish that we could see from the top of the cliff are massive sea mullet. Like they're acting exactly like sea mullet. They sit on the surface. You can see their heads like that's kind of exactly what the fish out there are doing. But when you have the like schools of mullet like that, usually you'll have like a GT or a little bluefin trevally, barracuda, something swimming in with them usually anyway. So I'm guessing that's what I've just picked up then, something big. Obviously we lost it. So what I'm going to try to do, this is my last, last metal lure I've got. I've just put a treble on the back. It's a 40 gram jig, but I'm just going to like cast at the school of mullet. And I'll see if I can just like jag one. Because that's what we used to do in Australia for fishing boat, just jag them. So this could be fun. 
Probably not gonna work, it's pretty hard, but all right, let's just try. All right, let's do this. So you're probably asking yourself, why doesn't the mullet, why don't the mullet just hit the lure? Because mullet don't eat meat. They're like a, <laughs> a vegetarian fish. They eat like, usually you catch them on bread, peas, corn. They eat seaweed and shit like that. So that's why they're not gonna smash the lures. That's why we're gonna try to jag them. So let's see if we can get one. <laughs> Straight. I'm casting like 10 meters over the school and then you bring the I'm just racing it through them and you can feel the lure like knocking them you can feel the the metal lure like going ting ting off the fish but it's just not it's just not hooking them up so funny you can fully feel the lure like knocking the fish as it goes through the school but it's just not hooking them up I suppose that treble's not very big Ah, that's all I've got. Oh shit! I just looked at the time and it's 5.25. I'm supposed to be back at the harbour jumping on a boat at 6.30. And it takes me like, literally it takes me like an hour, I don't know, maybe an hour to climb back up there. I'm not sure if you guys can see but you're gonna get up this ladder and you go along here up there along that ridge along that ridge and then up there and up the top where they can see that little hut that's where you finish that is where i need to get to <laughs> there is absolutely no way i'm gonna make it up there back to the harbor within an hour like that's impossible i don't have any phone reception down here to ring the captain to say leave me here i'll stay a night or whatever so Oh man, today was so unexpected. All I wanted to do was come here, do a catch and cook video on the cliff that we went to this morning. And it was just gonna be like a fun day fishing, catch, cook, blah, blah, blah. But this is why I love nature. This is why I love doing this kind of shit because you just never know what's gonna happen, man. Like now I'm on one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life, trying to hook mullet with a bloody jig. And this is living, but I've got to quickly race up there try to find the phone reception call the captain and i might just tell him don't worry about it and i'll um stay here the night maybe we'll film again tomorrow i don't know but for now i've got to go doggy so thank you for joining my adventure thank you for watching as always much love and i'll see you in the next one yeah doggies how am i supposed to leave this place dude this is literally one of the most beautiful places i've ever been i can't leave